Okay, so today we are going to be creating our big mouth characters and you can be inspired by an animal or you could just be inspired by your own goofy um, character that you create. As you can see here, I created an alien and it pops up and I created something inside the mouth as well as this animal here and he's eating a fish. So this is kind of a fun activity to do. It shouldn't take you long. And then we're going to add some visual texture um, for our fur or maybe the skin of our alien. So start thinking about what you want to be inspired by. And you can also create some sketches about what you want to do. So the materials that you need are listed on your art classroom, but I'm going to show you now. So you can pause at any time. Um, to get ready. I just have a printer piece of paper. That's all it is. Um, markers, a sharpie, which you do not need if you do not have it, and a pencil. You can also use crayons or any coloring tool. You don't have to use markers. I just like to use markers best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my folding. <clears throat> So you're going to take your paper and you're going to fold it hamburger style. Line up the edges. So I just folded it down hamburger style. Now you take the open part here and you meet the top of the folded part and you fold down. So I just took one of my flaps and I folded it up to my fold, folded it down. So then here you can create a monster that's just as big as my alien. But if you want it the size of my animal here, all you have to do is now fold this hamburger and fold it again from side to side. Once you fold it side to side, you'll have a line down the middle. And you just cut right on the line, keeping it folded together. So you can replay it if you need those steps again. So I folded it hamburger style and then folded that flap up to meet my fold. So now you have the start of your monster. And then you're going to take your pencil. That way you can erase. And at this time, you should have thought what you wanted to be inspired by, whether it be an animal or a monster or a robot, if you were still wanting to do um, robots. But the most important thing is where we place our item so it looks like that we have an open mouth happening. So as you can see, my eyes and the start of my mouth are on the top section, and the bottom of my mouth meets that part right there. So then you open and your mouth is in the middle. So I'll walk you through that right now. So I'm just going to start with three eyeballs. Maybe I'll do another alien. He was kind of fun. Okay, so now I'm going to do the mouth. And you want the mouth to meet the bottom here and the top right at this folded part here. So I'm just going to do a little guy and back up. You don't want to, you can close the mouth at the top, but you don't have to. So my top of my mouth is still right at the fold and then my bottom of my mouth comes down here. Then I'm going to add a head, and this is where you could add some bumpy texture if you wanted, or just leave it smooth. Maybe I'll make them like he's kind of jelly and jiggly. And then I'm going to add some antennas to my alien. Now you can do a different one than mine. You don't have to do an alien. You can do an animal. You can do a cat, a dog, an owl, and really create that fur texture or the jiggly texture. 
from the sides. And then once you have your bottom of your mouth drawn, the top of your mouth on the top part drawn, you can open it up. And here's where you're going to connect the top of the mouth to the bottom of the mouth. So I'm just going to go all the way down and meet those two parts and also finish my texture on the side of my body where you could add maybe a hand or something too, but I'm just going to add a mouth. So then inside the mouth, you could put anything you want. I think I'm going to put maybe um, a planet. Another planet up here. Maybe some stars because he's an alien. I'm going to guess they live in space. So yours is going to look different than mine. <clears throat> and then you can open and close it to make sure you have it in the correct position. Then what I like to do best is I like to go over all my pencil lines with a black marker. Um, if you use one of these markers, one of the Crayola, it's going to be a thicker line. If you use Sharpie, it's going to be a thinner line. I'm just going to use Crayola marker. It doesn't matter what you use. switch to my sharpie so I can get my thinner lines in my mouth okay and then here is our coloring part so once you have all your lines covered with black marker you can start coloring. Our goal with coloring is to add a visual texture so to make him look like he's either furry or maybe a little bit slimy or maybe smooth um, texture on its body and then you color it um, like a mouth on the inside. So I'm going to do a green, dark green on the outside. I'm just going to color it here. So I'm going to do it with some values. So I'm going to add my darker green on the outside with some lines going down like he's kind of has like a texture that's smoother or slimier. And then I'm going to grab my lighter green and go in other spaces create some more texture, visual texture with my other darker color. I'm going to do a gray background like you just ate space. So you can be creating your big mouth characters as I'm creating mine, or you can just wait till the very end to create yours. It's really up to you. It's not a very difficult project, but it is super fun and they end up looking really funny and cute. You can also use crayons, color pencils, Whatever colorful you have 
at home. I'm using dash lines, maybe some dots to give my planet some texture, visual pattern. Alrighty, so then after you color it, you can fold them back up. And obviously you can see that I just start with a plain mouth and then you open up and you see all the creations that you created in your big mouth character. Don't forget to take a picture of your big mouth character and send it on Google Classroom. You can take a picture with it closed and open. Alrighty, I hope you guys have fun. Let me know how you enjoy it.